All right. Hello, guys. So I'm. It took me a good while, but off screen, uh, I was able to, uh, you know, think things out and realize that um, with this note, it says Gabriel is the oldest, right? And because I was thinking that um, for some reason, I was thinking that Gab Gabriel and um, Alexander were like lovers of Anne, but no, they're all Anne's kids. Anne doesn't have a husband right now or something in that room according to these pictures. So she has four children. And Gabriel's the um, and Gabriel's the oldest. And his it says right here, let's see. That's Edward, Alexander, Gabriel. He's thirty one years old in the picture. And they took that picture in nineteen thirty nine. So it is night he is born in 1908 so the number you type in here is 1908 so you know it took me a second but you know I, I, I got it eventually okay it's not that bad it only took me like 20 minutes I can't say I'm disappointed, but this is not what I expected. Where do those lights come from? What are these? A must stand for Alexander, I suppose. E for Edward. G for Gabriel. R for Robert. My dear Alexander, I know you disapprove of all this. You have made that perfectly clear these past few days. Forgive me, my dear child, but I must see this to the end. Our family has suffered too much. I hope you'll find it in you to forgive me for what I did, wherever you are now. I'm sure you are happy where you are. Now, your loving mother, Annie. Did you kill them? What happened here? What have you done? Did she kill her children? I don't understand all these sigils, these messages, these experiences, and this silence. I can't stand to be alone here. What happened to the Blackwoods? And why did I wake up? Where is Annie? This is a nightmare. Father, mother, please, I'm begging you, come back, help me. A noise, is someone there? I think it came from the hall. She can't leave this room. There's nothing, oh, there's stuff to click, okay. Okay, that's it. Um, oh, there's another thingy. What is this? No, she can't go through it. Okay, gotta go out this way. In the hall? This way? I would think that this is the hall, but I could be wrong. <laughs> is there a map? A noise from the ground. Is it a friendly person? Something more sinister. I have to go to the. Where is the hall? I don't know. I don't, I don't understand where the hall is.
the crockery is broken. It didn't fall by itself, or there's something on this shelf. Damaged tableware. The manor seems abandoned. I don't understand. Oh. Something hexagonal, just like on the pedestal outside the manor. I should try taking it there. Okay. Okay, I know what to do. So I can't go through a, the... Yeah, I need to go upstairs. Somehow. How do I take it outside the... There's a hole. There's a hole to go through. So I'm going to go through that hole. I take this outside. <laughs> He's a dumb waiter. But that won't lead me outside, per se. Here's the thing. I gotta take this outside somehow. Mm -mm. We wanna take the hexo hexagonal piece outside. I get that part. <laughs> but then there's a lot of places that, like, we're not allowed to go at all. Oh, there we go. Now we can access that? Okay, cool. I tried to go through it before. <clears throat> so that's a little bullshitty. The manor seems to be more alive than I'd like. We did, we made some progress. We're making some progress here. Okay. Ooh, this is like a crypt area. Okay. A key, of course. Now I, let's find the lock that it opens. It, it belongs to Mrs. Ward, as I suspect. Okay, so I would have to... What would someone be hiding among the coffins? I'd like to leave this place as soon as I can. Okay. It'll just be a key then, you know. There's nothing else, right? Okay. 
No, no, I didn't mean to drop it. No. <clears throat> I'm sorry. My like, uh, like, my instinct is to press B to run. So. It's to open the front door because. I must open some furniture items. Just go upstairs. Because there's that. Yeah. There's the, there's the window open. Ooh, okay. I'll let the cherry. Okay. Let's read. Okay. I will let the chariot alone today. In its place, let them bring me a fifth horse. If thou hast it, he should be barebacked and fleet as the others. Ildirim's wonder was aroused, and he summoned a servant immediately. Bid them bring the harness for the four, he said. The harness for the four, and the bridle for Sirius. Ildirim then arose. Sirius is my love, and I am his, O son of Eris. We have been comrades for twenty years in tent, in battle, in all stages of the desert we have been comrades. I will show him to you. Going to the division curtain, he held it with Ben while Ben Hur passed under. The horse came to him in a body, one with a small head, luminous eyes, neck like a segment of a bended bow, and mighty chest, curtained thickly like a profusion of mane soft and wavy as a damsel's lock, nickered low and gladly at sight of him. Good horse, said the sheik, patting the brown dark brown cheek good horse good morning turning then to ben-hur he added this is sirius father of the four here mira the mother waits your return being too pre precious to be hazarded in a region where there is stronger than hand than mine and much i doubt he laughed as he spoke much i doubt o son of eris in the tribe could if the tribe could endure her absence she is their glory they worship her, she did gallop over them. They would laugh ten thousand horsemen, son of the desert, will ask today, Have you heard of Mira? And to the answer, She is well. They will say, God is good, blessed be God. Mira, Cirrus, name of the stars, are they not, O Sheik? asked Ben Hur, going to each of the four and to the sire offering his hand. And why not, replied Ilderim, wert thou ever abroad on the desert at night? No, then thou canst know how much we Arabs depend on the stars. We borrow their names in gratitude and give them in love. My fathers all had their mirrors, as I have mine, and these children are stars no less. There see thou is Rigel, and there Antares, that one is Altair, and he whom thou goest to now is Aldebaran, the youngest of the brood. This is getting very weird. But none of the worst of that, no, not he. Against the wind he will carry thee till it roars in thy ears like Akaba, <clears throat> and he will go where they say a son of Arius, a by the glory of Solomon. He will take thee to the lion's jaw if thou darest so much. The harness was brought. With his own hands, Ben-Hur equipped the horse, it circled, with his own hands, he led them out of the tent, and there attached the brains. Bring me Sirius, he said. An Arab he could not have better sprung to seat on the courser's back, and now the reins, they were given, they were given him and carefully separated. Okay. Interesting. Leaving book out isn't Annie's habit. Is that it?
Like, where am I supposed to go with this key? Well, anyways. We'll try again in the next episode, since we did make some progress. And we'll try. It's just... I don't... I, I like this game so far. It's just... I'm stupid. So, it's taking me a second. But... Catch you next time. Right? So, see you in a second.